Now is not the time to point out that the long-term underinvestment in oil and gas has made a difficult situation even worse. We know that already. The data is very clear. If we zero out hydrocarbon investment due to natural decline, we would lose 5 million barrels per day of oil each year from the current supplies. Our world is on its way to being home to 9.7 billion people by 2050. And to meet their needs, the world will have to produce 30% more energy than today. And as we meet that need, we will be helping to bring electricity to almost 800 million people who don't have it today. We will also be helping to transform the lives of 2.6 billion people who have no access to clean cooking and heating fuels. The world needs all the solutions it can get. It is not oil or gas or solar or wind or nuclear or hydrogen. It is oil and gas and solar and wind and nuclear and hydrogen. It is all of the above.